Now, we've done our fair share of builder bust-ups over the years here on ACA, but Sue and Gordon are dealing with more than most. First bushfires, now a builder who stuffed up and walked away from his dodgy handiwork. It's just so devastating. Just want to live in our house like normal people. They say bad luck comes in threes. Couples Sue and Gordon bear witness to that adage. In reality, um, the company has gone ahead and done exactly what Stevenson has done to us. And a triple whammy is taking its toll. It's absolutely just destroyed us. We're yeah. suffering. There's no words for it. We're just trying our best, but... We were nice, fit, healthy, happy people. Had goals and dreams in our life. Three years ago, they lost their home in the black summer bushfires on the far south coast of New South Wales. With their insurance payout, they decided to build a fire-resistant green magic hobbit home. They engaged Australian promoter and builder Glenn Stevenson, but the magic turned to misery when they saw his handiwork. Ceilings gave way, doors were out of alignment, the cement slab was uneven, and so it went on. Well, Glenn didn't do any of the council requirements. And then the last draw for us is when the um, frames and the waterproofing, he didn't do those either. He doesn't care about regulations or rules. He took 100% of their money and after two and a half years, left them with this. Preying on vulnerable people is just not the way to do it. He just doesn't have a heart at all. They say you've done a runner on them. Well, that's so untrue, it's not funny. Stevenson's building licence was cancelled and head office in America took over. Our global company mm -hmm. has organised for another builder. Let's see how that went, because after our story aired, the international company in Florida got in touch with us. They said they wanted to make things right and especially support the bushfire victims impacted directly by Glenn Stevenson's activities. Really thought, you know, everything was going to be OK. They told Sue and Gordon, we are working with an Australian company who are going to rectify any wrongdoings that have been made. We were going to have a house. They promised to finish the house. So they put the Australasian head of Green Magic Homes on the job. Alex Grieg is based in New Zealand. He said, in short, we plan to complete the build for the couple in Verona. We're back to excited again. We're finally going to get our house done. And he told the couple directly, I would like to put forward that I come over from New Zealand and lead the supervisor role to complete your house. A date was set. It was meant to be here in the afternoon and he was hours late and he got here about 5.30. Yeah, and... Then he said, oh, I've actually got to head off in the morning. And we thought, well, he's not given us any time here. The couple say he stayed for one hour before he jumped in his car saying... Yeah, don't worry, mate, you'll get your house done. When did the first tradesmen start to arrive? <laughs> There's been none. No one, no one. And we never even got calls from them. But after they pestered the company, they got plenty of timetables. On this job, we've had probably 30 or 40 schedules made up for the same job. But, Gordon, this has been eight months now. Yeah, I know. I think they just send the schedules to make us feel good, yeah. as if something's going to get done, but it's just teasing us. We've Empty. come to the realisation that promises. it was nothing more than a PR stunt, and to save their reputation, unfortunately, they've used us and um, that's unforgivable. Green Magic Homes USA says our story resonated all over the world, appearing on nearly 250 media mentions and some even in other languages, adding over 90% of our orders were either cancelled or postponed. Made themselves look like they're the victims. The American company now says Stevenson wasn't part of their organisation. Strange because here he is with the international executive team. There's Glenn at the training camp at Cancun, Mexico, with the powerful title of 
Director Australia. Because it's the end result that they, everybody sees. Your end result, Glenn, is a disgrace. We just had to scrape up the money. Since we last saw it, the couple have saved to put a coat of waterproofing over their exposed home. The ceilings haven't improved, have they? No, well, that's what we're trying. It's been such a really, really big job to, yeah. to get that yeah. off. And water is still getting in. The skirting boards, that's why all the skirting boards had to come back off. They're no good now. Their hobbit home is falling apart. Three years on, you're still living in the one better. We're still living in the sardine can. As they struggle in their temporary accommodation. It's those simple things. I haven't sat on a decent lounge in three years because we can't have a lounge in there. I haven't had a bath in, you know, that long because we've got a tiny little shower that we're lucky to fit in. Glenn has a nice big home. Can I ask, how do you sleep at night? Pretty easy. You must have a very good mattress because truly, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I was you. Yeah, Doug, we've raised 3,270 so far. Sue and Gordon have a good community who've set up an online fundraiser to help them. That's awesome, babe. We'll be able to pay for some insulation. But after three strikes, they feel knocked out. Done over by the bushfires, done over by a shonky builder, and now by a company that... Yep. Yeah, it's never ending. It's, it's softly killing us, it really is. Yeah. I'm so sorry. really is awful. Fair Trading is still investigating Glenn Stevenson for possible breaches of the Crimes Act.